Hello, welcome to your first webinar uh, in which we're going to be looking at So this is the first lesson that was set uh, before lockdown and the idea of this project was to produce a, a portrait, a self-portrait uh, inspired by pop art and pop artists. So today I'm just going to talk to you about what pop art is and was. So pop art was a style of art from the 1950s and 60s, and the artists based their work on things from popular or mass culture, such as magazines and food packaging. And what actually happened was that uh, after the Second World War, about 10 years, uh, uh, for about 10 years, there was still rationing, which meant uh, people didn't have a lot of choice in the shops, they didn't have a lot of money, uh, but when that ended in the middle of the 1950s, suddenly uh, people discovered uh, that lots of new exciting products were being uh, made available with lots of colourful packaging. Uh, magazines started to, to include a bit of colour and there was a, a new wave of music and pop stars as well, musicians and also film stars. And all of which inspired the artists, the young artists of the time. So some of the famous artists who you may or may not have heard of. So Andy Warhol is one of the most famous pop artists who is famous for painting portraits of famous people such as Marilyn Monroe. Uh, but also he would uh, do prints and paintings of soup cans uh, and products. And Campbell soup was one of his favourite topics. Roy Lichtenstein uh, was a pop artist who liked to base his work on comic books and as well as sort of capturing sort of single frames, such as this one, we'd also copy the style of uh, art in comic books with thick outlines but also dots to try and make up uh, certain areas of colour like they were printed. Jasper Johns was a famous artist who, uh, who produced images almost solely based on the, uh, the American flag, the U United States flag. And he would sometimes paint it in different textures or different materials. Sometimes he would uh, stack them up, so there was different layers of them as well. But all the time, he was sort of attracted by the bright colors of the flag. And Klaus Oldenburg is a sculptor who is famous for producing large sculptures of everyday objects, and his work is a, a lot of fun when you see it in real life. So these huge sort of everyday things, uh, but again, they're always sort of bright and sort of very sort of neat, neatly presented. And and it's that idea of popular objects being used in a very formal place. So I'm going to show you a short film from the Tate Art Gallery, uh, where it's an introduction to pop art for children. These are four of my favorite. 
Okay, so that is a good introduction to what pop art uh, is and was. And as the girl said in the video, that pop art still influences people who work today. So these are four artists who are still working today who are influenced by pop art. So Julian Opie, uh, very simplified images like this. I'm going to show you a short video just about him in a second. Uh, Jeff Coons who produces sort of sculptures of uh, one this is a balloon dog uh, but amongst that he also does paintings from photos from comic books and he doesn't just have one style of art but he's very sort of uses very sort of popular everyday items alex katz who paints uh, images often of celebrities and uses sort of magazines as, as a source for his work and then Going on with this idea of colourful uh, dots and bright colours uh, is is Katsuma, who she paints these these images um, using the dots to add, add the colour. And often it's things like pumpkins and squashes and, and fruit. Bill does it in these sort of really playful, bright colours. Uh, just looking at Julian Opie, uh, because he's, he's a British artist who still works at the moment and uh, Again, his work's very, very uh, iconic. Uh, you can see how he just makes portraits, very simple portraits, just using uh, very little detail in it. And he's influenced a lot by the world around him. And I'll just show you a short video where he talks about his work as well.
Okay, so that's Julian Opium. That's just to show that's just to show a modern take on pop art and just to show how this idea of just using everyday popular images in your work still exists. So in the next lesson, in the next webinar, I'm going to be showing you how you can create work in the style of the pop artist as well. Thank you.